That's an afternoon probably best suited for skating in Central Park, but we're across the river and we are in for a cold one at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. It is week 16 in the NFL and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the New York Giants. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. up just shy of the 30. So CD this defense they know that they have to be at their very best when they're taking on a team here that's in the midst of a winning streak that's now stretched over multiple months not weeks months. I think the challenge they put upon themselves is we want to be the guys to end that streak and what's working in their favor the winning streak on the other side sometimes that carries a burden with it because they feel like they have to play perfectly as well. Let's just go out there and get them is the idea. The throw over the middle taken in. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A gain of 32 that time. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And Hurt's going to move him around. A first down carry for Barkley. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Now they'll change things around before the snap. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively. Or it could have gone for more. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. First and ten, it's Hurts. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Eagles are on the board first here this afternoon. Elliott good on the extra point, And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line.
They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. These two teams matching up for the second time this year. Their first meeting back in October, week six. Okay, it was the ready? Giants with a road victory, so they'll look for the sweep here in MetLife Stadium. And they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And he's upended after a gain of four, up to the 25-yard line. Now Willis on third down. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. So, of course, they declined that there. They knew they had the free play. They got great yardage out of it. It's kind of like when we were at dinner last oh, night. You saw me reach for the check, so you ordered dessert on top of it, right? <laughs> you say they had the free play. Yeah. Right? Well, Already had what you needed. Go ahead and get a little more on top. I like it. Barkley inside handoff. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, this defense for the Giants, they were excellent a week ago in that victory over Indianapolis. And one of the key things you always look for when you're evaluating a defense is how opportunistic are they? How many takeaways do they get per game? And how about last week's game? That number, six. Absolutely phenomenal performance. They were on top of their game right from the first snap. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? You talk about this giant defense. They were excellent a week ago in that victory over the Colts. One thing you always look for when you're evaluating a defense, how opportunistic are they? How many takeaways do they get? How about last week's game? The number was six. <laughs> Phenomenal performance. Hurts. This will be caught. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Charles, he lost a fumble last week as well. So now back-to-back -back weeks, maybe you expect that from your tailback, but not him. You're exactly right because you work a lot with your running backs about how they have to protect the ball in traffic. But downfield, in open space, that's dangerous as well because you may make someone miss, and their flailing hand can knock the ball away if you don't tuck it away. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Come on, come on. Check. Check. Hurt. Hurt. Willis headed left off the option. And he'll get up near the 45. He'll spot it at the 44. He gets 12 on the keeper there, but now it's third down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes go, when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. A third and two, here's Willis. He's got his target, that's complete. And he will have the Giants first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. The Giants are 12 and two now on the year. They've certainly found their groove of late. Winners of five in a row. And this team is absolutely playing their best football right now. This is the best that we've seen them play in a long time, partner. Sky's the limit as far as they're concerned. Their confidence really soaring.
On the move past the 40. And some space here. And he gets this one down to the 24. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. They go play action with Willis. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the 17, here's second and four. Go check. Go check. Now a handoff running through the middle. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Three, three. Right back to him on first down. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And finding room to work. He's down to the two-yard line. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. A great play there. With touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Giants are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point try good by Gano. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken at the goal line. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units. And they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Now a second and 10. 63, 63, 63. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he comes back with one complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. A handoff to Barkley on the option. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes I think cornerbacks can benefit from the fact that quarterbacks might just forget about the idea that they might be near the line of scrimmage. How about the anticipation there sneaking in and making a big play in the backfield? Off the play fake. Here's Hurts looking deep downfield. And that is caught at the 10-yard down Eagles a big play there 
six yards. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone and only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Let's go now. The Giants' offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. Let's go. From the 25, here's second and four. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 65 yards rushing for him in this one as he starts to draw nearer to a 1,500-yard campaign. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now they'll look to Willis to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. From the gun, they'll try to run it. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Ready, ready. So they'll pass on what would have been a 49-yard field goal attempt, and they're going for it on fourth down. Willis looks to pass it here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. On the shake. Hurt, hurt. Ready. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's a second and eight. Check, Bobcat, check, Bobcat. Go. Hands it off out of the gun. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone but it's incomplete. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. On fourth down, on is Graham Gano for the Giants field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Gano's kick is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. 
And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And this take it in at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second down and six now from the 26. Now Hurts changing up the play. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. Looking left side and it's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. But first down, Hurts. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Second and 10. And this ball recovered by the offense, but remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead, and it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. Now they'll audible to something else. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. Well, Charles, the NFL record is 66 yards. That was five shy of that, but only a handful of guys have ever connected from 61 or deeper, and he can add his name to the list. Yeah, more and more guys are trying it. That doesn't mean the success rate has gone up. That is a long kick. Guaranteed, when he turns on his phone after the game, a ton of congratulatory texts will be awaiting him. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. With a slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Willis will look to throw on first down. Flush to his right. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. 
We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Willis looking to throw on first down. And that's going to be caught downfield by Slayton. Down the left sideline. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Darius Slayton, 64 yards. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Gano the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. 17-17 the score. All even to this point as it kicks away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Look at right sideline, that's complete. And they'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one goes for 30 yards. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. 63, 63, 63. Here's Hertz to throw. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. The well, touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Here's second and ten. In motion right is Smith. Throwing his hurts. This is caught inside the 15. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. And that one results in 35 yards. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way, oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover it. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. God, it's Hurts. And he'll just get rid of it. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. The kick by Elliott is good. And with that, they take the lead here 20 to 17. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? This fielded right at the goal line. 
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. The Giants go. offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And this will be a Giants first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes hey, you just down, don't want to break down. tendency. Three, three. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Now a quick slam as the throw is complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. That time on the run pass option when he decided to throw it, not a quick little drop off. He went downfield a bit. Reminiscent of a triple option quarterback in college because he faked it inside and instead of immediately throwing it out to the perimeter, stepped back in the pocket to find a target downfield. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. On second down, here's the option. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. And the offense moving quickly to the line. To throw, here's Willis. And it is caught. And he will have the Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And a nice milestone reached on that last throw is here late in the season. He goes over 4,000 yards passing. And he's really thrown the ball well all season long. Had some big games along the way. He's inspired his receiving core to go out and make plays for him in each and every ball game. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. The good pick up there, a 22. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. They'll run here on third and goal. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Warriors 70. Willis on third and goal. They'll roll him out right. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Giants have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point try good by Gano. And that will make this a four-point game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now 
up as they go out on offense. They're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent still the same in what they plan to do on offense. Now Hurts looking to change the play. Back to throw now on second and ten. This is caught. It's Brown. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A gain there of 30 big ones. First down, Eagle. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Well, looks like they'll move things around here. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. That one complete down the field to Smith. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 25 yards that time. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. pickup of eight, second and two. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit, they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen did not let him get downfield. They'll try to run for it with Barkley and he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. That right there, a good side for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're in the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I and he's in. Touchdown, the Eagles. Saquon Barkley with career touchdown number 75. And the Eagles, on the final play of the third quarter, have taken the lead. And as a defensive coordinator, you're almost in a no-win situation down here near the goal line. You know how dangerous Jalen Hurts is when he holds on to it. You've got to be prepared to stay with him. So when he hands it off, if you're slow and reacting, this is going to be the result. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Elliott now to kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Let's go. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Now Willis. And this throw incomplete. 
Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. 79 Broncos! 60 Bobcats! 60 Bobcats! Mustang 19! Go! Third down, it's Willis. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down in the process. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Come on, come on. Hey. 60 Bison, 60 Bison. 18 Rattler, 18 Rattler. Here's Willis. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Here we go. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Willis looking to throw it. Rolling to his right. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown, Giants! A great effort there. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Giants answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Gano the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he returns this to the 22. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Now a run on first down is not going to get off the ground as they will get him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game, and all that pregame whooping has turned into results. Hurts. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he's able to get up here to the 26. And they're going to speed things up here. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. They're going to look to throw. Well, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked up by Pat Sertan. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. He's really putting together a spectacular season. That interception, number 11 now in the year. And I know we're all taught that seven is a lucky number. I'd say 11 is for him, huh? No doubt about it. Here we go. 
street. And the slot man goes in motion left. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Here's second and five now from the 37. 60 Maverick, 60 Maverick. Back to throw, Willis. And his throw's going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Got it. Ready? The Giants on third Got down. Team. They've Got had good team. success. Five for eight to this point. This will be third and five. 19 tight. 19 tight. Ready. Back to throw, Willis. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Willis. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to prove. And he is going to have the Giants first down. They go for it on fourth and two, and it's a game of six. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense. They can't get the stop here. Well, they'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Ready, Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Play action, Willis. Quick hitter here, it's complete. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there, freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. And now a timeout taken here defensively with 2.07 remaining. So they'll also have the stop coming up at the two-minute warning. Two. From the six now on second and three. A handoff on the option to Singletary. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Devin Singletary, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Giants are on their way to a 13th win on the year as they add on to their lead. Gano now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. This is first and 10. And now an audible here into something else. 63, 63. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that's complete to Brown. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A two timeouts still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. You get into these two-minute drill situations, and you often got tired legs on the offensive line. But these defenders, they've been rotating in and out, and they're a little bit fresher and quicker. And the pressure there forced the incompletion. Hurt sets up to throw it. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. 
And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. They'll come up first and 10 here. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. This will be caught by Brown. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. So look at this. They'll go for a field goal now to get within a score. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. The kick by Elliott is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So we're back to a one-score game, and now you figure we'll likely see an onside kick. Yeah, they've only got the one timeout remaining, so I think they've got to take a chance of getting the ball back. Big mistake in that spot. You got to let it go, Tim. They didn't give themselves a chance. They had an opportunity, touched it first. Now they're in a really bad spot. Roll, roll, roll. They got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he is going to have a New York first down, and the Giants are going to win the football game. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he's tapping a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if you picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right, this college football, you want know, to make second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually aids the defense in that situation. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. That was an excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, 